What's up? What's happening? You know, we are coming up on the 20th anniversary of 9-11. I was going to wait until 9-11, which I believe is Saturday. Yeah, no, Saturday or Sunday. Anyway, I was going to wait till 9-11 to shoot this video and talk about it, but I'm going to be real busy this weekend, so I might as well get these ideas off of my chest right now. When that shit happened, I was in Syracuse. I was chilling. I had a... <laughs> fuck. I had a new girlfriend, a new a new job. Well, a new same job in a new location, but felt like a new job. And kind of a, a new lease on things. I was I was in that zone when you get, you know, a new girlfriend and y'all screwing like motherfucking bunnies and everything good at work and your health is there, you're doing good in the gym, you got a fucking drill team, you're doing okay. That was my situation when 9-11 happened. <clears throat> and I remember exactly where I was going. I was in my Lackville 79. Yes, I did have a Cadillac. It was 1992, though. Old, but, you know. So, I was in my Lackville 79. Y'all need to check that song out. It's cool. And me and my girl was going to Walmart. Fucking Walmart, right? So, I'm listening to the radio and some shit was going on. And it was kind of strange. I, I heard him talking about the World Trade Center. Now, I remember in 93 when the motherfuckers blew the World Trade Center up or tried to blow the World Trade Center up. They set a bomb off in the basement. I'm, I ain't going to say they. I'm going to say a bomb was set off in the basement. See, because there's some issues as to who really set that bomb off in the basement. But I'll get back to that later. So, yeah, they had tried that shit in, in uh, 03. So, there's, you know... All the time in the back of my mind, I'm thinking they're going to try the World Trade Center again. Only this time, it's going to be much more, you know, effective. And I, by they, I mean whoever did the shit. So we driving down the highway, and I hear him talking this shit, and I pulled the car over to the side. It was so fucking wild. You know, I know what the fuck? I pulled the car over, turned the radio up, and it was talking about an airplane that flown into the Twin Towers of one of the Twin Towers in New York City. So, I got out, it was so disturbing to me that I said, but we got to get off and I got to go find out what the fuck going on. Because at the time, I already had one son in the military. And, um, and so I was really concerned about it. So we went back to her mama house and she had a TV on the porch and we started watching that shit and yeah a motherfucking airplane by then the second airplane by the time we got back to our mother house the second airplane had also hit so when we got there the World Trade Center was on motherfucking fire and everybody was glued to the motherfucking TV and then the shit that happened happened uh, at the Pentagon was also on TV so I'm watching all this shit unfold and then that motherfucking plane in Shanksville Pennsylvania the one the, the supposed plane crash happened there where the motherfucking people took control and they crashed the plane into the ground or rather than let it, you know, hit its target and they made a movie about it. All that bullshit. Anyway, all this was going on. And I'm sitting here trying to, like everybody else, trying to take all this shit in. All of a sudden, I see the fucking World Trade Center tower, the first one, just collapse straight down. Straight the fuck down now. And the first thing I thought, I mean, the first thought that came to my head was controlled demolition. This this shit is, is, is motherfucking crazy, the way that building just went down. I'm like, where all the steel at? Where, how the fuck, what happened to all of the goddamn material beneath the, 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 the top floors going down? What happened to all that material? And then the second one come down. <sighs> I'm like, what in the everlasting fuck? 
I worked in industry for 20 straight motherfucking years. I know the properties of metal. I know how hot steel got to get to melt. I know all these things. Then, you know what I mean, 20 years ago. So I knew that it was... Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, I knew that it was damn near impossible. It was impossible. It wasn't damn near impossible. It was impossible for them builders to fall like that from having that plane, having those planes flown into them. And if you have ever seen the fucking World Trade Center, you know what I'm talking about. You know how big them fucking things are. And you know that an airplane is just a big aluminum goddamn tube with two big engines on it and some wings. And it flew into the side of that building. And there was a big fireball. That was most of your jet fuel right there. And uh, and then it burned for one for like an hour and a half. And the other one for like two hours and a half. And then they just crumbled straight, straight down to the fucking ground. Shit blowing outwards now. Straight down to the fucking ground. Everybody who ain't seen the actual footage of the World Trade Center's Tower 1 and Tower 2 falling straight down needs to stop what they're doing and go look at that shit. When that shit first happened, I knew that that was some bullshit. So I waited, I waited. Then all of the fucking hoopla happened and we went to war and, you know, all the subsequent uh, occurrences. But after everybody calmed down just a little bit, and before they could scrub the internet, you could find all kinds of information about how bogus that motherfucking whole goddamn operation was. How all of the goddamn pieces fit together that leads one to believe that 9-11 was a fucking inside job start to fucking finish. But now, you got to really look hard to find anything other than the, other than the, um, than the, you know, the corporate narrative, the government narrative on 9-11 and the 19 hijackers and this and that. But you got to find, you got to know how to, how to look and research really hard now to find anything contra contrary to, to the official narrative and, um, and that bullshit that the 9-11 commission put out. You got to look real hard. There's a documentary called Loose Change. That's still out there. And you can find, but you gotta um, um, you gotta know exactly what to look for. It's called loose change. Then of course there's Fahrenheit 9-11. And then there was there was, I mean, there was hundreds of them. But come on, man. Without any motherfucking knowledge of any conspiracy, you can look at them two buildings and see that them planes could not have caused those buildings to fall like that. Then there was Building 7. Was not hit by a plane. Had some had some um, office fires. Pretty bad ones, but still, not enough to bring the building straight down in its own footprint. And Building 7 was supposed to be some sort of fort super fortified fucking building. It was New York City's uh, center of uh, uh, disaster response headquarters. It was, it was, it was, had bomb proof windows and all of that shit in it. Building 7 was not your ordinary 47 story building. I have the fuck tall it was. And they was reporting Building 7, they was bumbling so fast, they was reporting that Building 7 had fallen before it actually fell. So they knew that what was happening. Then you get the fucking tra owner of the whole World Trade Center complex. You get him. There's there's footage out of him out there of him talking about pulling Building Seven. I just listened to the shit yesterday. But like I said earlier, before they scrub the internet, you can find all kinds of evidence and 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 information out there about how badly this government wanted to pull off that 9-11 bullshit. Search the new Pearl Harbor or a new Pearl Harbor, whatever the title is. Do a Google search on that. 
and you'll find information about the Project for a New American Century document and how all of them motherfucking war hawks was trying to get us to go into, into a state of perpetual war. Really, and they succeeded. I mean, because here we are. I mean, just because we're pulling out of Afghanistan don't mean we ain't still at war. And we've been at war ever since this 9-11 bullshit happened. And we're going to stay in a state of war. But, go back there look at that shit. Because everything that happened after 9-11 been a lie. Everything that happened after 9-11 been a lie. I'm talking everything. Barack Obama, Donald Trump, Joe Biden... George W. Bush, all of their vice presidents, all of them, it's all been a fucking lie. And it's costing trillions of dollars and millions of lives. And nobody gives a fuck. Especially nobody in this country. And if you say anything different, they tell you you crazy. They tell you you the fucking nut job. So... You can't really say anything. You can't really say anything. But go watch Loose Change. Go watch... Go watch the fucking Peter Joseph Zeitgeist movies. Go watch Ring of Power. The long version. Sit through those. And, um... Shit, I don't know where to even tell people to, um find the information that I used to find back in 05, 04, 06, 07, 08, all the way up to just when Obama got elected, that's when they started scrubbing the internet. YouTube started scrubbing shit. You might be able to go on alternative video sites and find stuff about 9-11. But YouTube is pretty motherfucking mainstream now. You ain't gonna find nothing but Osama bin Laden and the 19 hijackers who did that shit, who defeated NORAD, okay, with cell phones from a fucking cave. All the motherfucking money we spent on, on our military, and it was defeated by these motherfuckers. Really, you want to say, defeated by them twice, because they defeated them when they was able to carry out the 9-11 attacks. Now, this is all according to their, their narrative. They defeated them when they were able to carry out the 9-11 attacks. And then in the subsequent war, they defeated the, uh, the United States again. I mean, this is the United States by the United States' own admission. Now, if you look at what really happened, I mean, if you look at what really happened, the underneath story, then the United States didn't really get defeated. And I think that's what the, the, the politicians and the war hawks and the corporations are really looking at. Because if you look at it like, if you look at it like it was a fucking inside job in order to put forth this fucking program and this whole new goddamn new American century, and to get us in a state of perpetual war, and to make trillions of dollars in military contracts and arms sales and this and that, and to get all of that shit going, then they succeeded. So on the surface, it looked like we took two losses. But when you talk about the corporations and the upper echelons of government, they won. They achieved, achieved uh, their fucking objective, didn't they? And people still run around voting like it means something. Said it before and said it again, nigga. If they ain't giving you nothing tangible for your vote, all you voting for is more war, lower taxes for rich people, higher taxes for poor people, and more corporatism. You know. But anyway, 20th anniversary of 9-11, y'all. Time to go re- Examine that shit. Take a look at it for yourself. You're going you're gonna to come away from it with a whole new perspective. 
I got to go, y'all. I got to get this work out. I, I'll talk more about, um, i talk more about, I want to talk more about um, 9-11 and the things that have happened since. Oh, and I want to talk more about reparations because that's, that's uh, starting to, that needs a, a new, uh, a new push. I guess that'll be in my next video. Take care. Peace.